Salam with Bacon Mahi Mahi Barakut. It's your favorite Hamas adjacent Imam, Imam Isi, back to give you the cold, hard truth about the wonderful religion of Al Islam. Tragedy struck recently as four descendants of apes and pigs were released from Islamic heaven on earth to the oppressive, evil, Zionist Jewish regime. One of our Western Hamas affiliates, the New York Times, reports. Following the Israeli rescue of four hostages in Gaza on Saturday, Israel's military said that three of them had been held in the home of a member of Hamas, which it said showed that the armed group was using civilian homes to shield its activity. This stuff you always hear about the ways Hamas uses civilian shields is nonsense. Hamas, peace be upon them, simply collaborates with civilians. It's a willing partnership. How else would Hamas, peace be upon them, enjoy a 70% approval rating. The article continues, three hostages whose names I shall not mention and whose posters I would tear down if I had the chance, I'll hem to Allah, were rescued from one building in a refugee camp while a fourth was in another building nearby. More than 274 people were killed during the raid, according to the Hamas-led Gaza Health Ministry, whose instantaneous death counts and finger-pointing at Israel are always correct, except for that time they blew up their own hospital and killed five hundred people. But that was just once. That was one time. And we do thank Western media for helping us spread that one around. The Israeli military said that the death toll was less than one hundred. Continuing on in this article, a preliminary estimate by a committee I've never heard of, but gets cited in Al Jazeera, so I believe them, says more than 100 journalists and media workers have been killed during Israel's campaign in Gaza. After the recent hostage release, that number is now 850 women and children, journalists. Wow, that is a lot. Now, you might wonder how such a successful hostage release was negotiated. Well, you know all those Jewish tricks we Muslims are always warning you about? Yeah, that happened again. Local residents reportedly said that a special forces unit, including women, entered the camp where the hostages were in disguise, driving in a white car loaded with mattresses. They said that the women were dressed in clothes that other women were wearing there in the war. Women, especially Jewish women, have a history of tricking us Muslim victims. Two well-known examples being that Jewish woman who tricked Aisha and Muhammad Piba into thinking torture in the grave was a real thing. And of course it is. And then there's that other Jewish woman who tricked Muhammad Piba into eating poisoned meat, which later killed him. One day, inshallah, the Ummah will be smart enough not to be tricked, especially by Jewish women. But today is not that day. According to another Western Hamas affiliate, CNN, the IDF said its forces came under heavy fire from militants, including with rocket-propelled grenades, which were fired in civilian areas, of course, but very safely by expert marksmen so that no innocent civilians would be injured. The fire was so heavy that the IDF responded with strikes to support the team on the ground as the extraction efforts continued. And finally, the Jew hostages were released. The escape was apparently captured in some video from Al Jazeera, verified by CNN. Video from Al Jazeera, verified by CNN. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. A truck emblazoned with a brand of dishwashing soap resembling a vehicle commonly used to bring aid in Gaza could be seen traveling on a road accompanied by a tank and Israeli armored vehicles about a mile from the refugee camp. The vehicles headed away from the camp and in the direction of an area near the U.S. military's floating pier on the Mediterranean coast where the extraction took place. The Israelis landed near the pier, not on it, probably because the pier is falling apart. But it's not all bad news. Western solidarity has been pouring in for the world's most victimized victims. One of the most oppressed women in America, Ilhan Omar, whose political office has nothing to do with her religion, gender, or skin color, called for a day of mourning over hostages rescued. I think that's supposed to say released. I am deeply grieved by the tragic rescue of our four hostages this morning, said Omar, fighting back tears. They were taken from us far too soon. After only 245 days in captivity, I am hereby calling for a national day of mourning over their safe return to Israel. Now, I have to admit, I'm not sure what she means here because mourning is the first part of the day. 
So how can you have a day of morning? It would be like having a day of afternoon. But anyway, according to sources, Omar broke out in sobs upon learning the devastating news of the hostages' rescue. If only Israel had listened to Biden, none of this would have happened, said Omar. It pains me to see their smiling faces as they reunite with family and friends. The only silver lining is that none of the American hostages were rescued. Praise Allah. Some people say this is satire, but it has all the marks of authenticity. There's nothing that's said here that's out of character. So as an imam you can trust, I grade this sahih. Meanwhile, more advocates for the oppressed swarmed the U.S. Capitol and shouted brilliant, peaceful slogans. Then they defaced some stuff, and we do thank law enforcement for not making any arrests. Allahu Akbar. And finally, thank you so much for the continued support from the LGBT Alphabet Coalition, and keep ignoring things like the Houthis crucifying gay people as you shout their slogans. And as for the number of the hostages remaining... I don't know. It's like Ilhan Omar alluded to earlier. This old man isn't looking for them, and neither should you. And this brings me to our last bit of good news. Overall, it seems like the concern for American hostages is non-existent, as it should be. I mean, is it really worth this many more lives? I didn't think so. Besides, politically, it seems like the American government would prefer to have hostages' blood on its hands rather than terrorists. I mean Hamas. Peace be upon them. Imam Icy out.